I think the most important thing that I've learned about digestion and feeling good and energized is that every single body is completely different. There's no one size fits all when it comes to what makes us feel good and what works for our bodies. So please don't compare your diet to mine or anybody else's. I'm just sharing some recipes that I've been enjoying and that make me feel happy and good on the inside but still taste amazing. Also, just want to preface, and I talk about this properly later, is that bloating, your tummy sticking out a little after you eat, is completely normal. I'm just talking about combating painful bloating and stomach problems. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. I love you. Here are some recipes that I've been enjoying. Oh my god, I look like a giraffe. Chomping at the top of a tree. That is so good. You just can't beat a creamy mushroom. I know for a fact this is gonna be really hot and burn my mouth. Ah, yep. I thought I would do a little day of food, show you some recipes that I've very much been enjoying recently. I recently was on iron tablets. I was on them for about three months because my iron was a little bit low, not too low, but I was just prescribed them to make sure it didn't get dangerously low, you know what I mean? Now it's back up to normal. I'm not on the iron tablets anymore. And if you've been on ferrous sulfate, you will know how much they destroy your stomach. I had diarrhea, constipation, painful bloating. And I just wanna say that bloating is normal. The title of this video, I'm not talking about just bloating after you eat, that's completely normal. I get bloated every single day. But when I was on these iron tablets, it was painful bloating, like a rock. You know, that's, that's perhaps not normal or not how your tummy should be when you eat. So I'm slowly just getting my digestive system back to normal. I'm mainly trying to focus on foods that are gonna make my tummy feel good, that aren't gonna cause me any pain because after months of being on those horrible pills, I just want my tummy and my digestive system to feel good and like it's running smoothly. But bloating is normal, okay? If it doesn't hurt, your tummy just sticks out a bit after you eat. That is completely normal. I'm not saying that that is anything to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. It's normal. Everyone blows after they eat. If it hurts, if it's painful and causing you discom discomfort, that's a different story. But don't feel bad if your tummy sticks out after you eat. It's completely normal. It's completely normal. So I'm not talking about that. This is one of my favorites at the minute. It's creamy mushrooms and chickpeas with turmeric, garlic, herbs, vegan cream cheese, rye bread. Rye bread is incredible for stuff like this because it goes so crunchy and doesn't go soggy when you put like juicy toppings on, you know what I mean? I love rye bread, it's so delish. I'm a pig. Yeah, I just thought I'd share some of my favorite recipes that are still very yummy, but are getting my tummy back to normal, giving it a bit of aid and a bit of help after being on those horrible iron tablets, which I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. Let me tell you something. My gas, the smell of my flatulence on those tablets, ungodly. Ungodly. Horrific. Embarrassing. It was like something had died inside of my stomach. So I hope to never see one of those tablets ever again. Also, a peppermint tea in the morning. With my breakfast, I have found really helps. I love peppermint tea. I've sworn by it for years. When you have a sore tummy, it's so good. Anyway, my camera is flashing red because I didn't charge it overnight because I didn't really know I was gonna film this video until this morning. So I'm gonna charge it and then I'll see you later. Love you. Please remember that bloating is normal. I'm just talking about uncomfortable, painful bloating. Okay, love you. I'm just having a little mid-morning snacky. I made some of this matcha banana bread yesterday. I'm actually making an ebook, which I'm so excited about. And this recipe is going to be in there and it's so good. If you love matcha, this will be your perfect dessert. The texture is crazy. Have you seen that? It's so yummy. Cheers. Mm. It's so fudgy. It's a joke. I just wanted to quickly say that although the theme of this video is gut health and eating things that make you feel good, such a big part of that is not stressing and overthinking everything that you eat and still allowing yourself the things that you just crave because they taste good and allowing yourself desserts and not stressing and overthinking every single thing that you eat. Because if you're stressing about what you're eating 
when you eat it your body's not going to digest it well i think it's something that's overlooked a lot of the time you see so much about gut health on tiktok and instagram but for me personally if i am stressing and being really meticulous over what i'm eating if you're just eating stuff because you think it's healthy and you don't want it whatsoever and it doesn't taste good and it's making you stress out that's not going to agree with your body so you have to find foods that make you feel good but also foods that make you happy and taste delicious find foods that make you feel good and make you feel happy and energized but make sure they taste good make sure they're making you happy and satisfied when you eat them don't punish yourself with healthy meals just because they're technically healthy if that makes sense find foods that make you feel good and then spice them up a little bit you know have fun with it experiment with different ways of cooking and different meals and different snacks food is meant to give us nutrition but it's also a way that we can have fun and bring joy into our lives and just have a good time so yeah try not to overthink it too much you know what i mean hope that made sense okay i'm gonna go on a quick little walk with my doggy get a little coffee from the calf my dog she hides in the bush and i have to summon her out of there with the lead like hook her on like a lasso so <laughs> let's do that oh you're coming out today good girl good girl come on come here <gasps> who's well behaved today is it because the camera's on you is it because the camera's on you oh she's keen i need a wee first boo boo stop whoa mm. it is fucking roasting today it's glorious i'm gonna get a little iced coffee yum That walk was so nice. I am sweating profusely. It's so nice and warm today. Where has this weather been the whole of summer? It is now September and now we get the nice weather, which I'm very grateful for. I'll take it. But if it was like this during August, June and July, that would have been great. So there's actually a little bus stop library in the village. It's where people leave old books and DVDs and stuff that they don't want. And I found this. It's a vegan cookbook and all the stuff looks fucking delicious. So I twocked it. I took it. It's mine. All of this food is very up my street. There's zesty, fresh, spice it up, grains and goodness, nuts and seeds, earthy, sweetly does it. That'll be my favourite section. And baking brilliance. So I'm very excited about this. Thank you to the village bus stop library. It's so hot. So I'm going to make a smoothie and sit in the garden in the sunshine. That sounds great to me. Smoothies are one of my favourite things to have during the summer. I put a lot of stuff in there. I just think they're a really good way to get loads of goodness into you. And they're fucking delicious. I cannot live without my smoothies. They're so yummy. I'm a big sweet tooth, so I just love having sweet things. And it's a good way to get... A lot of good things in there, some superfoods and healthy fats and protein. I find smoothies really agree with my stomach. I know a lot of people, I think, find them hard to digest, but I think I've just found the right combination of things that work for me. I switch them up every time, but I usually do. I always do banana, frozen banana, because that's how they get really nice and thick and creamy. So I always do frozen banana. I do some kind of frozen berry usually. I like to put courgette in there because it's a good way to get some veggies in, but they're so bland that they don't change the taste. I know it sounds a little bit weird having courgette or zucchini in your smoothie, but you can't taste it and it just gets a veggie in there and it adds a really nice thick texture. I always do some flavour of protein powder. I usually add um, some spirulina, either flax seeds or chia seeds or some kind of seed. Always do some kind of nut butter. I'm a sweet tooth, what can I say? I love to have sweet things all times of the day. So yeah, I make a smoothie, sit in the sun. I would say get a tan, but I don't tan. I'm also so pale today because I don't have any fake tan on. I had a big scrub yesterday in the bath and just scrubbed it all off. So I'm very pale, <laughs> very pale indeed. But I think it looks kind of cute actually. So yeah, let's make 
a smoothie. So for today's smoothie, I did my usual frozen banana. I add ice just to make sure it's nice and extra cold because warm smoothies, no, no, no. Courgette, frozen strawberries, and then I added iced latte, flavored protein powder, some hemp seeds, beetroot powder, and then this salted date almond butter. This stuff is incredible, it's so yummy. And then I added almond milk, some water, and then blended it up, and it turned out so thick and creamy. And just like the most delicious thick milkshake, it was so good. So for dinner, I have some leftover roasted veggies from yesterday and Jamie bought some chickpea flour that we really want to use. So I think I'm going to make a chickpea flatbread pizza type situation. Look, I know that this is not a substitute for normal pizza. If you're craving pizza, go out and get a pizza. I go for pizza like once a week, it's my favourite food. This isn't meant to be a traditional pizza, it's just what we fancy and it's gonna be delish. It's delicious in its own right, okay? It's just fun and tasty. And this is what I mean about finding healthy meals that make you feel good, but are also really yummy. So yeah, I'll put some roasted veggies on top, some vegan cheese maybe. Do I have any vegan cheese? I don't know if I have any in the house. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what toppings we have. We'll make it a party. Some olives. It's not a flatbread or a pizza without olives, in my opinion. Also, I have just been nibbling like a little mouse on that banana bread all day. It's so, so yummy. The texture, I can't wait for this ebook to be out so you can try it. It's so good, the texture is insane. It's like fudgy, 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 fudginess. It's so good. I don't know why I keep blowing kisses today. Who the hell do I think I am? I'm Katie fucking Finch, who the fuck are you? Hello. So for the flatbread base, I just followed the instructions that were on the side of the packet. It was just the chickpea flour, some water, salt, herbs, and then I think I added a few garlic granules as well just to add some extra flavour. And then you just end up with a runny batter like this. I actually decided to do mine in a pan rather than in the oven. And I just let it cook, put the lid on it, and then flipped it. And then put it on a baking sheet, added the toppings. I did tomato passata, some mushrooms, the leftover roasted veg. I did olives. And then I always forget about sun-dried tomatoes, but they're so delicious. I just forget they exist. So I put some of those on there, some vegan cheese. Put that in the oven for about 10 minutes. I topped it with some rocket and some of this green goddess dressing that I've been making. It's going to be in my ebook, and these turned out delish. Oh, that looks good, that bit. It's the sun dried tea. Focus, focus. It's yum. Very yum. Rather stay on the boat and watch you. One thing about me, I'm going to have something sweet after my dinner every single night. Because as soon as something savoury passes my lips, I need a little something sweet afterwards, okay? And I have so many sweet things in at the minute because I'm recipe testing with my ebook. So there's like six different sweet things to choose from. I think I've had it for the banana bread today. I've had about three slices of that. So maybe a cookie dough bowl or something. That sounds good. A little cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so me and Jamie are actually going to half this turmeric latte caramel sandwich cookie. So yummy. And I'm also going to have a little coffee protein bowl too. Both of these are going to be in the ebook, ladies and gents. Stunners. Jamie. <laughs> 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 Hello, little rascals. I'm just editing and realized I forgot to film an outro because I always forget to film a fucking outro. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I just want to reinforce that you should never, ever, ever feel ashamed of your tummy sticking out after you eat. It's so normal. You've just eaten. There's less space in there. It's going to stick out a little, you know? I just wanted to share some recipes that I've been enjoying that have made my tummy feel good after being on those rancid iron tablets. Um, some foods that really agree with my gut but again everybody is completely different what works for me might not work for you and it's so important to remember that everybody is so unique and so different 
Um, but if any of the recipes look yummy, give them a try and let me know what you think. And there's lots more recipes on my Instagram and my Tiki Toki. And yeah, I just love cooking and experimenting with plant-based foods and I just love being in the kitchen. Also, there is so much more to life than how healthy your food is. Don't try and make your food perfect. This is just an example of one of my healthier, more nutritious days. Going out and getting pizza and burgers and dessert with our friends. Going out and having a few drinks if that's what you want to do. Life is for enjoying and food is such a big part of that. So, always remember that, okay? I'm waffling on, but I hope you liked the video. Love you, bye.